took a three key. How, how much did they charge him with? Oh, they charged him with like a, they didn't even charge him with the whole key. The people thought I beat him out they dope. Cause he was like, oh yo, um, I think it was like a, a key and a half. They only, they gave him 15 years though. Probation or no, pen? No, pen. So he went to the prison? Yes. 15 years. And my mom divorced him because she said, you love her more than you love me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So I got the, I got the busted before I got the indictment. Okay, okay so that's yeah. when he found out for the first time what you were no, doing or he, he knew? Well, he didn't really, I think he knew, but he didn't want to know. My mama, like, never, and both of them are deceased. Mm -hmm. But my mama never gave me, like, the benefit of the doubt. Like, she already knew Chuck always doing something. And my sister was a mama's girl, but my dad was always, I was a daddy's girl. Mm -hmm. So by the time I got 19, I'm pregnant with my son. I'd already had my oldest daughter at 16, going on 17. Mm. And so the people come to, um, they come to set me up for five ounces. Yeah. But I got all this stuff in my dad's house. I always thought I was slick. You know, my brother called me slick. Don't nobody, you know, a lot of people call me Chucky. Some people call me slick. So I always thought I had more sense than everybody, right? So I put the drugs in my daddy's car because I'm like, he the preacher. So if the police come, they're not going to search the preacher car because he's the preacher. Mm -hmm. I was crazy. That's why I said the enemy, I was a silly sinner. Just thinking I could sell drugs Monday through Saturday, and as long as I respected the Sabbath day, I would never go to prison. I'm telling you, this is what I thought. And that's my what you life. thought? My whole life, yeah. Wow. I was I, That whole time, like, I would. Re you couldn't call me for nothing on Sunday. I wouldn't do nothing on Sunday. 12 o'clock, midnight Saturday, I'm back in the house. If my curfew was 10, I was back in the house at 10. And every time, whenever you're doing what you're doing during the week, and you knew that it was wrong, you'd go in, um, and, and repent. Pray. And repent. And I would climb out the window as soon as they go to sleep and leave the window crack and climb back in it when they go back before they get up in the, for work. So when you when, when when you was doing this and you get you get the indictment uh, or you get busted, uh, where is this guy at? Is he is he taking care of business with you, making sure you? Oh well, no, I was done with him by then. I'm, getting, I'm dealing now you with dealing, some, who you you, who you, you got your straight up, oh you got yeah. a straight up connect with somebody. Yeah. But why L A? Because we had it but down they here. Was coming, no, but they were coming and they were giving me better prices. And then I had some people. You didn't in have Houston, no connect down. Here. And they had, and I had a connect in Houston. And I was doing both of them at of the same time. Of course, time. yeah, yeah, that's where it be. But yeah, so yeah. I'm driving back and forth to Houston. Yeah. And then when they ain't got nothing, and I'm doing something yeah. else, so. You know, and that got me messed up a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? So, long story short, my dad um, goes to take my mom to work, and by the time he come back, the the feds, I mean the the task force was already at the house. No, they already had set up a plan to to catch me that day. I was nine months pregnant, seven months pregnant mm. with my son. So somebody already they've been watching because you they've been watching because I'm terrible. Yeah. I was terrible. So they come in, but well, the guy comes first and knock on the door like, "Yo, Chuck." Um, um, I want the five ounces. So I'm like, okay, I'm pregnant. And I'm like, when I get to the door with him, he was like, oh, that's all right. I changed my mind. I'm like, what the heck? That don't sound right. It didn't make sense to me. So he's like, yo, um, so and so around the corner said I can get them for 35 and get five for 35. I'm like, but you've been getting them for me for a grain of a pop. Like, so, okay, well, go get them from him. I'm, I ain't got time for that. I'm already pregnant, miserable. I had just got back from Houston. I'm hot. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for that. Go, okay, bye. Then about 30 minutes later, he come back. He knock on the door. Yo, I changed my mind. He was just giving the people time to get there. I didn't know that at the time. By this time, my dad's pulling up in the yard from taking my mom to work. So when he comes in the yard, he parked in the car, and the driveway was like behind it. You know, them old houses, like down the driveway. Yeah, yeah. But the people coming through the front door. And when they come in the door, they just get him out the car and bring him in the house. And he just looked at me. He had tears in his eyes, and he was like. So the police brought him in. How did you feel? I, I wanted to die. Like, this man don't see no wrong in me. None whatsoever. And now, I'm thinking, like, they not going to find the three keys in the trunk. And then I got 18 ounces of powder in the So you got three keys in the trunk. In his trunk. Three it's keys. Already loaded. cooked. Already, already cooked. cooked. Out of order. And then. Why would you do it in the house? Because normally. No, I did, they were already cooked when I got there. Yeah. yeah, I know. But why would you even have the drugs at your house and not I somewhere was at else? The, because I stopped, I was at my dad's house. She's, that's a preacher. She, so I'm yeah, thinking like yeah, they're yeah. not going to ever come to here. Yeah. So okay, I like, got you. Gotcha. So I thought I was out slicking them or whatever. But I went. Mm -hmm. Three so, keys of cocaine in, 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 in and the truck. five ounces. And, and the five, five ounces. ounces. And then I had $3,000 worth of $20 rocks. Yeah. Did you have How any many cash guns? on you? I ain't have no cash on me. Are you no have guns? I just go. No guns. No guns. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that's the crazy part because that's the way it be. Like, 
you more and you was she was more happy in the end too. If the laws hadn't came, cause she had scold and she was comfortable with the dope that she had, man, she was happy. And you know what I'm saying? Dad, cause you knew you had you you knew I, you had control. You knew you had power. And so my dad comes in there and they put him on his knees and I'm sitting on the couch because I'm big and pregnant or whatever. And so he just looked at me and they were about they were about to leave. Without the three keys, they were just gonna leave with the five ounces and the three thousand dollars to Ross. And this one man just come like out of nowhere, like he was from Bozier. So why are you in Menden? What you doing way down here looking for me? And what did he say? He said, we didn't search the cars. I was like, what the? My daddy said, where your car keys? And I had a Z28 I rock at the time. That's what the we Hawaiian was driving. Blue, Hawaiian yeah. blue. Yeah. My daddy was like, where your keys? Get them the keys. Da, 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 da. He just looking at me. I'm like, don't give him your keys. <laughs> I yeah. mean, you yeah. took I give him mine. Just yeah. don't give but he don't know. Cause he had his car there, he had driven my mama car. So he so his car was still just sitting there. Yeah, it was a river. So his car was there, but he had taken my mom to work in the other car. So when they searched the car and they came in there, that man was like, Cause uh, let me tell you something crazy. The whole time they thought Chucky was a boy. Because my nickname is Chucky. Nickname. Who gave you that nickname? My daddy when the I was daddy, born. She said, oh, okay, when why I was born. Chucky? Because he wanted me to be a boy and I wasn't a boy, so he just started calling me Chucky and I just still ended up being Leticia from, by my mom. <laughs> okay. But um, so Three he, keys in his truck. So he was just looked at me and he looked at the me people and he, and so they take they handcuff both of us though, of, of course, and they take us down and he just like, when we get in the little room, he was like, I'm just gonna take the choice. They'll give me probation. That's what he told you. And I said, he said, because I don't ever want you exposed to prison life. You got too much talent. You got too many gifts. I can't read music. I play all this stuff by ear. I write songs by memory. I mean, I just make up stuff. You give me a name, I can write a song in two minutes. So I, God has given me all these talents. And I took the hands that he blessed me with and just and did destroyed. some crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, destroyed people's lives. And that's just the so truth. That's what's daddy real. took a three key. How, how much did they charge him with? Oh, they charged him with like a, they didn't even charge him with the whole key. The people thought I beat him out they dope. Cause he was like, oh yo, um, I think it was like a, a key and a half. They only, they gave him 15 years though. Probation or no, pen? No, pen. So he went to the prison? Yes. 15 years. And my mom divorced him because she said, you love her more than you love me. Wow, mm. so 15 years he had to do behind the three kids. Well he did, eight, almost nine. nine How years. did you feel when you heard that? I wanted to die, I was like, oh no. Y'all cannot do this. And you I didn't like, try to no, come up and be like, it's yeah, mine, it's yes, mine. Yes, I did. I told him that. He was like, they're not going to do that, Chuck. You just acting stupid right now. Like, don't be stupid. Just, I'm going to do it. Because at this time, in the, pre the state, they didn't even send him to the feds. They sent him to the state. state. So they could, his church members could go and they would pack picnic baskets and make him sweet potato pies. And that was his favorite. They could go there and take their stuff on Saturdays and have like little picnics. So they didn't turn their back on him. Yeah, what unit was it? The church people, they didn't turn their back on him at all. Mm -hmm. What unit was it? Mm -hmm. um, Winfield, Louisiana. Winfield, Louisiana. Yeah. And he, was, he, he just went did the time. Yeah. And then he yeah. got and he got out and he died. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.